which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitudes from the boat. Uh, when he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all the night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and the, their nets were breaking. So they signaled to their partners in the other boats and came and helped them to, uh, to come and help them. And they came and filled uh, both boats so that they began to sing. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man. He had all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid from now on. You will catch men. Verse 11. Uh, so they had, so when they had brought their boats to the land, they forsook all and followed him. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus. I give you praise, I give you glory, I give you honor because of your word. I submit before you, King of glory, that Lord you may take control. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, because you are a great teacher. Teach us this morning, teach us this day, that we may continue to, uh, that we may continue to receive your word that our hearts may continue to be receptive. As I share your word, dear Lord, thank you because you will use me, Lord, as you desire. And may, you, may your people receive that which cometh from you. I am before you and I surrender it all to you because you are God Almighty and you are God with us. Be with us and speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody say amen wherever you are. Uh, the month of June is the month of divine. It's a month of divine. It is the month of divine rewards. Sendio. We're going to receive, uh, we are expecting God to reward us divinely. And um, uh, as we share this word, I want you to put that word at the back of your mind. Uh, this is a time when these, uh, these guys were not disciples by that time. And at this particular time when Jesus came to them, he found them uh, beside, uh, besides the, uh, the lake. They had done their fishing through the night. Amen? They had done all they could but the bible records that morning came and they had not received any catch they had not succeeded in their agenda they had not succeeded in what they intended amen awako wamefahulu nia yao katika hiyo usiku mzima ilikuwa kufua samaki ili waende ku, uh, wakaweza kwenda kuusa ama wapate chakula praise the lord na maandiko inasema kwamba wakati huo wakati Yesu alifika waliweza kuwapata wakiwa tu mahali pale Yesu akapata the the uh, hivyo uh, merikebu ikiwa tu mahali pale zikiwa viwili na uh, maandiko inasema kwamba uh, wale wavuvi walikuwa wameenda kufanya nini 
walikuwa wameenda kuvua nyavu zao praise the lord they had given up and uh, some other other studies in asema ya kwamba actually kuvua nyavu is part of uh, of the process baada ya wavuvi kuvua nya, uh, kuvua samaki usiku mzima baada ya kukamilisha hizo uh, shughuli they wash their nets ili waweze kutoa ile uchavu ambayo imeweza ku collect ili iweze kutoa zile scales ambazo zilikuwa uh, zime uh, zimebaki kwenye nyavu zao uh, na maandiko inasema kwamba wakati Yesu aliwafikia Uh, I was reading the, through the book of Mark and every other time in the scripture wakati Yesu alikuwa anaendelea katika huduma yake the first thing he did when people came to him he taught them the word amen that was the ministry of Jesus Christ yeye angewafundisha neno lake angefungua kinywa chake kile ambacho Uh, kilikuwa uh, kinatoka katika kinywa chake ni neno lake Mungu kwa sababu yeye alikuwa anapitisha ujumbe ambayo Mungu alikuwa amempatia amen so the disciple uh, these guys came the fishermen came not the disciples they came uh, the, uh, the, the, the fishermen uh, when Jesus came around There were so many people who were, who were pushing because they wanted to receive from Jesus. They wanted to hear Yesu atasema nini siku ya leo. Na katika hiyo hali, Yesu akawa amefinyiliwa. Lakini Biblia inasema kwamba akachukua akachukua ah, lile chombo ambayo ilikuwa ya uh, Simeon na akaweza kupanda juu. Alafu akamwambia Simon akaweze kuisukuma ndani kidogo ili watu was, wasikaribie sana ama wasimsukume sana amen ili akaweze kufundisha neno la Mungu akiwa katika lile chombo praise the lord na maandiko inaendelea na kurekod na kusema hivi ah, wakati Yesu aliendelea kuwafundisha kuna mambo kadha wa kadha ambayo aliweza kuwafundisha but be, before we get there i just want to bring this scenario to you jesus christ uh, came so that he may give uh, he may give hope to the hopeless so that he may give strength to the weak so that he may encourage they that are broken in their hearts amen that was his ministry he came to heal they that were sick So Yesu ameingia mahali pale. Lakini kuna watu ambao ambayo wamefanya kazi usiku mzima na hawajafanikiwa. Na jinsi ama sababu yao ya kuosha nyavu zao inamaanisha ya kwamba walikuwa wamefunga hiyo chapter kwa hiyo usiku na hawangeweza kurudi pale tena. Amen. They could not go fishing again. Because one thing you need to appreciate, these were professional fishermen. Amen? They were professionals. Awakuwa watu ambao walikuwa wanajifundisha. Wali, waliweza kukua katika hiyo hali ya kufanya hiyo kazi. Amen? I know we have professional fishermen here. Amen? I know we have professional businessmen here. I know we have professionals in various fields who are watching me or listening to me this day. Praise the name of the Lord. Na inaweza kuwa umefika mahali katika maisha yako, katika kazi yako. Unaona ya kwamba hakuna matumaini tena. And you are getting to the point whereby you are giving up in your life. You are throwing away the towel. You are washing your nets because according to you or according to the reports that you are receiving from wherever from uh, wherever whichever field you are in it is a report of hopelessness. Amen. Lakini Yesu alipoingia 
katika maisha yao aliweza kugeuza mambo na mambo iliweza kubadilika kwa sababu walimruhusu Yesu aingie katika maisha yao ili aweze kuleta utofauti katika maisha yao amen so uh, you realize this me, me, I, I, I am sure because we are men we are living on this planet there are issues that you might have gone through in your life kuna mambo ambayo ume, uenda umepitia katika maisha yao na unajiuliza je kwani nilifanya makosa gani what sin did i commit what have i not done which other men have done for them to excel in this life for them to succeed in this life but one thing i want to tell you there is this story about um uh, this boy who was sick ambayo yesu aliweza ku kumbana nayo siku moja wafunzi wa yesu walikuwa wanamuuliza je yesu huyu kijana ni nani alifanya dhambi Na Yesu akamwambia ya kwamba for sure there is no one who sin neither their parents neither him uh, did commit a sin in their lives but it is for the glory of God that this is happening amen could you be going through a situation praise the lord it may not be because you have done anything wrong it may not be because you have committed any sin but it is that god may glorify himself in your situation in your circumstance because he is a god who is supposed to receive glory in all situations and all circumstances the bible says that he is not a man he does not share his glory with any person amen and when you begin to take the glory that marks the beginning of your downfall why because god is not a man he is not a man to lie when he says he cannot share his glory with any man he means it amen so when you begin to start uh, when you begin to hear somebody's uh, uh, st- uh, when you begin to hear somebody speaking like the devil Amen. That's the devil speaks. He speaks. Do you know his language? Yes, wakasema, ah wanafunzi wangu, kondoo wangu wanasikia sauti yangu na wanaielewa. If you understand the voice of Jesus your master, your Lord and your savior, you need to understand the voice of the evil one amen anything that your master does not accept anything that any root ambayo ah uh, yesu apende anything that is contrary to the will and the purposes of god is the voice from another quarters amen you need to understand his voice so when the devil uh, when someone begins to uh, to talk and you will always tell because what was the reason that uh, the devil the lucifer was thrown to this planet he started exalting his, him, it's himself he started he started saying i will descend praise the lord usitubutu kuchukua utukufu ambayo Mungu anafaa kukupokea. Amen. And that is why Paul said, when all is said and done, when you have said it all, just say I am not I am unworthy uh, uh, I am unworthy servant. I have just done my duty. Amen. Nimefanya kile ambacho nilikuwa nafaswa kufanya. Ukifanya kitu kizuri, watu wa appreciate, return all the glory to him. Amen. Let him receive all the glory. And when you do that, 
you are on your way to success. You are on your way to excel because God honors his word. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, many a times, uh, some, you may think people are angels. There are no angels here. People go through issues. Amen. What wanna piti a mambo? Banas fesana. Ah. Just allow me to, to share this testimony today. Uh, I remember we, 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 we got married with, uh, uh, we got married with my wife in 2009. And uh, we, we kept trusting God to bless us with children. And uh, we stayed, we waited on God, we trusted him. And sometimes in 2013, uh, something happened. The Lord came through for us. But I remember, I remember it was in the month of March towards Easter. Uh, my wife felt so uncomfortable, so uneasy. And she told me, we can't, uh, we can't stay. Let's go and see uh, a doctor. We went and um, Tulipo Fika Mahale Pale, they did all they could. And they told us the kid is normal. She's not yet born, seven months, uh, seven months old. She, in, the, in the next uh, few months, she was supposed to be, it was supposed to be born. But things turned around against us. But remember, we have waited on God. We have trusted on God. Praise the name of the living God. What do you feel in such a situation? You feel frustrated. You feel like giving up. You feel like you cannot continue. You feel like you cannot serve God again. You feel you want to take an holiday and have some rest somewhere. Praise the name of the living God. So, wakati mwingine wapendwa tunapitia mambo, tunajipata katika hali ambayo atukutarajia. When you expect the good, good things to come your way, you encounter the opposite of what you expect. How do you explain that? Things beyond your control. Things that you cannot do anything about them. Praise the name of the Lord. Paul, uh, or the, for this case, Peter. Uh, Peter, na kikundi chake walisidi kufanya uvuvi usiku mzima. Asubui, wamechoka awaja faulu. They must have been frustrated. That is one. They had given up. Why am I saying that? Because you cannot go fishing during the day. Wana swe sana. Awezi ukafanya ufuvi mchana. Unless utumie ile nduwana, lakini yao ilikuwa net. Amen? Um... So what are we saying? They were weary because they had worked during uh, the whole night. And sometimes in our lives, we get weary. We get exhausted. And for our case with my wife, we kept holding on and asking God, come through for us. And far, uh, uh, four years later, the Lord remembered us. And, uh, and we bless God so much. So don't ever give up. Because God is a faithful God. Bible says that he follows his word to perform it. He has not deserted every word that he has always spoken. Amen? Amen, 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 amen. So Petro, uh, Peter, you come mahali pale. So, Yesu amemwambia asongeshe merikebu uh, ingie ndani ya maji. Yesu amefundisha. 
wakati alipomaliza maandiko inasema kwamba ah Yesu akamwambia Petero tafadhali ama ukaweze kuishusha nyavu yako you know um Jesus a great rabbi he was a great teacher Biblia inasema kwamba akawaambia wateremshe nyavu they lower uh, he asked them to lower their nets and uh, Jesus he was a great teacher he was not a fisherman common sense ingewaambia au wale wavuvi this is so foolish of you you cannot do this master or teacher during the day but i love peter he said at your word master ah the next verse verse 5 akasema at your word simon answered master we've been working hard or we've worked hard through the night and we haven't uh, achieved anything i'm paraphrasing but because you say so i will do so amen akasema nitafanya tu hivyo kwa sababu umesema hivyo kwa sababu umesema nifanye hivyo i will do so katika maisha yetu wapendwa kuna mambo mengi ambayo atofai kutumia our common senses kwa sababu tunapoendelea kutumia kutumia common senses zetu we are going to fail and we will be uh, letting down the kingdom of god because biblia inasema ya kwamba um, the righteous shall live by faith we who are called by the name of the lord atofai kuishi ama kufanya vitu jinsi ambavyo tunaona tunafaa kusikia ni nini Mungu wetu anatuambia je Mungu angependa tukue wapi je Mungu angependa tufanye nini kwa wakati wowote ule katika maisha yetu for us to succeed we must be alert in our spirits we must allow the lord to to be our master because you cannot call him your master yet you do not obey Awezu ukasema ya kwamba yeye uh, ni mwalimu wako yeye ndiye anayekuongoza na ile hali anapokunenea unasikia lakini hautendi jinsi ambavyo amekuelekeza amen iwapo tu utafanya kulingana na neno la Mungu you can be sure god cannot uh, accept He cannot allow that you be ashamed and you have performed according to his word. Amen. That is faith. We do not walk by sight in your business. Ni vizuri kuaminia Mungu na kujua ya kwamba hata kama customers hawako leo lazima watakuja kwa sababu ni na imani na ni Mungu amenipanda mahali hapa. Ni Mungu ameniweka mahali hapa na kusudi langu kukuwa mahali hapa ni kufaulu katika biashara kwa sababu Mungu ameniita mahali pale ili nikawe nikaweze kukuwa wa msaada katika kazi ya Mungu amen and god will always honor your faith he will always honor his word if you want to succeed in this life mshike Mungu na neno lake mwambie eh hey, Mungu umesema kwamba mimi ni kichwa wala mimi sio mkia i'm always at the top and not at the bottom praise the lord and god is faithful god is gracious he is merciful he will always come and fight for his word amen lakini unapoenda ukijitetea my brother you will be disappointed You will lose it all. You will miss it all. And you will blame God where God is not involved because you did not involve him. Amen. Ah, Biblia inasema kwamba katika Revelation chapter 3 verse 
uh, 20. Uh, this is how our God works. He is not a robber. Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. That is God. If you don't allow him into your businesses, he cannot be involved. If you don't allow him to take charge, to take control of whatever you are doing, you will be committing suicide in whatever you are doing because you are running your own race. Na katika mbio yako ambayo auja muinfov, mungu wako, mumba wako, I'm speaking to believers who need to understand what they need to do for them to succeed in this life. Full trust in God. Full faith in God. Allow him into your situation. Allow him into your circumstance. And when you allow him, he will come. He will take charge. He will take control. And you can be sure that you are going to break forth. You are going to break through. You are going to succeed. You are going to excel in whatever you are doing. It doesn't matter which field. Kama umeajiriwa, involve God in, in that job that God has given you. Ruhusu mungu akaweze kupata nafasi yake. Umpatia nafasi akaweze kutawala. Challenges may come your way. People may oppose you. But allow God to be God in your situation, in your circumstances. Simon obeyed the word of God. He had and he did according to the word and he received a reward. The reward that he was after, he really, he, he, he was fishing to, to, to do what? To succeed in fishing because that was his job. Through that, his family would get something to eat. He would support the needy if need be. Lakini kile ambacho iliweza kumsaidia ni kuwa mtiifu kwa neno la mungu. I will say this, that our God is a God who will continually speak to us. He will continually speak to you. He will continually persuade you. If only we can hearken to his voice. If only we can hear him. If only we can, we can listen. If only we can obey. We will be better believers in the kingdom. We will be Christians who can be emulated in this life. We will be successful Christians who people can desire that they be like you. Because there is a God who is at work in your life. Praise the Lord. Our God. He is not a God who cannot fight for you. He is not a God who will shy away when things are bad. He is not a God who will leave you when you need him. Praise the Lord. Are you there when God needs you? Je, uko mahali pale wakati Mungu anakuhitaji? Iwapo utapatikana wakati Mungu anakuhitaji. Wakati utamuhitaji Mungu akutetee. Trust me, he will fight for you. The only problem is that we are unavailable atupatikane bwana katika uh, kazi ya Mungu. Atuonekane that is why we live miserable lives as believers. That is why the world is, has pity on the believers. Wana turumia. Lakini ni sisi tumeanguka. We have not done according to 
what the master requires. Iwapo tu tutainuka, iwapo tu tutageuka katika maisha yetu na kufanya jinsi ambavyo Yesu anahitaji, Mungu wetu anahitaji. We can be sure of success and good success according to the word of God. Mungu akamwambia Yoshua. Ah, that was after the death of Moses in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Akamwambia ya kwamba, do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth, but meditate on it day and night, so that you may be prosperous wherever you go. So you have a duty in the kingdom. You have your portion. There is something you need to do in the kingdom. There is your part and there is the part of God. Amen? If you cannot do your part, why do you expect God to do his part? He is faithful. He is not a man. He will always do his duty. He will always perform his part. Amen. Tutakapo fika siku moja kwake. Many will ask him, why was I going through all this when I was there? And you will be surprised that there is something which the Lord told you to do and you did not do it. You just ignored Si Mungu aturumie sana. Si Mungu a, yeye ni Mungu wa huruma. Aturumie sana siku ya leo ili ili kwamba baada ya hii ibada we are going to live lives that is worthy of our calling. We are called into the kingdom, an everlasting kingdom, a successful kingdom. Amen. Ninakumbuka wakati mmoja I don't know where I was, but I had some people discuss and said um, uh, it was on a negative, negative, it was a negative discussion. Somebody needed to be paid. Lakini badala ya kutumia maneno yake, anasema mimi sefanyi kasi ya kanisa. Praise the Lord. Our God is not a poor God. You will perish with your money and God remains to be God. Amen? And there is this perception kwamba kazi ya kanisa ni kazi ya abure. Who said that? That is not the gospel of our God. That is not the gospel. It is not the true gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yesu wakasema ya kwamba. Yes, ah, wanafunsi wakamulisa Yesu. Sasa arabi, sasa mwalimu, jinsi ambavyo chutumejitolea. We have left our families, we have left our wives, we have left our mothers, we have left our, our children for the kingdom. What are we going to get? Yesu wakawambia ya kwamba katika maisha haya, you are going to reap a hundredfold. Not in the life to come, but in this life. So the kingdom of God is a kingdom of success. It is a kingdom ambayo the world need to emulate. We need not to emulate the, how, the, how the world is doing things. But we need to, uh, the world need to copy what the church is doing. But we have failed. Mungu aturumie sana. Na mungu watusaidie sana. Praise the name of the Lord. It is a challenge to me. It is a challenge to you. It is a challenge to you and it is a challenge to me. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I will request to finish. Taomba kumaliza. Taomba kumaliza. Verse 11, uh, uh, Luke chapter 5, verse 11. Luke 5, verse 11, then you give me Philippians 3, 8, and I'll be done. Amen. The Bible says, so they pulled their, uh, their boats up on shore, left everything and followed him. This was uh, Peter, John, 
and uh, was the other one. There were three guys. Uh, the Bible says, after all, what happened in between? I'm not able to finish, but allow me to, uh, to explain something here. Um, uh, so what happened at the end of it all? This is what the three fishermen said. They pulled all their boats to the shore, left everything, and followed him. You remember the story of Elijah and Elijah. Wakati Elijah alikutana na Elisha. What happened? Aliweza kwenda akaharibu zile yokes ambayo alikuwa anatumia kwa oxen na akaweza kuambatana na Elijah. Now you see the great success that came along the way. And here we see the disciple uh, the, the first disciples they left all that they were doing. And Jesus told them that you're going to be fishers of men. You are going to be fishers of men. And God cannot allow you to fish men and suffer and be miserable in this life. He can't. Philippians 3, 8. Philippians chapter 3, verse 8. Uh, uh, you're not there yet. Philippians 3, 8. The Bible says, this is a new international version. What is more, I consider everything I lost compared to the uh, surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, uh, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ. You know what uh, the author meant is that he left everything, he considered everything just a loss, but his desire was to gain Christ because when you gain Christ, you have it all. Amen? Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be given unto you. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. In your business, seek the kingdom first. In your job, seek the kingdom first. Amen? In everything, in your career, just seek the kingdom. Just get to know what is the will of God for me. Just under, uh, keep your mind alert in him. Know what God wants for you. And if you can succeed in that, my brother and my sister, you will be, you will be somebody. You will be somebody in this generation and you will be remembered in the generations to come even when you are not here. Praise the Lord. Amen. So ningependa tusimame popote tulipo katika jena la Yesu. You will allow me to close because I cannot finish. But God will give